music. I lost my music. Poop. Well, la, la, la. Welcome to Breakfast <laughs> with Spaniels with Dr. Judy Morgan. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Great, everybody gets to the notice on time today when I can't find my music and I'm fumbling around. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Friday the 13th. Yeah, there, that explains it. So, uh, it is Friday the 13th, and this afternoon, i got to double-check the time, I think it's at 3 p.m. Eastern, I will be live on the Healthy Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Facebook page. We're doing a question-and-answer interview. Um, they're out of the UK, but they have members from all over the world, like, amazingly all over the world. It's a big group, so... Um, so, let's talk about prescription diets, just because I this morning um, I saw somebody posted that their dog's been on prescription metabolic diet for four months to try to lose weight, and it hasn't lost any. I'm so shocked. Dry kibble that doesn't cause weight loss? Shocking. So, I had a rant about prescription diets at the last AFCO meeting that I went to uh, in person, and um, as usual, I was laughed at, I was made fun of, especially by the people who were sitting in the row behind us who happened to work for a large candy company that makes prescription diets that are a huge profit center. Here's the thing. Prescription diets, do you ever read the ingredients? They're really awful. Contain a lot of corn, a lot of rice, a lot of grains. They're not a meat-based species-appropriate diet. They're made with rendered ingredients, which, as we well know, can contain euthanasia solution, pentobarbital. Hmm. Do we need a prescription for that? The other problem is there's nothing medicinal about them. They are not a pres they should not need a prescription. They don't fit the definition of a drug that would need a prescription. This is collusion between regulatory authorities. FDA is supposed to regulate drugs, and drugs, in order to be approved, need to go through testing processes. And it's a very rigorous process that they have to go through before they get approval. Yet FDA says, no, you can require prescriptions for these. You can charge double for these. It's all good. It's all fine. So the veterinary industry makes more money. And my second job out of school <clears throat> back in the 80s, I worked at a clinic where every animal in that clinic was on a prescription diet. My employer got trips around the world courtesy of Hill's Pet Food because we sold so much of it. Looking back on it, I apologize to every animal that I made eat those diets. I am so sorry. My own pets ate those diets. I'm very sorry. 
I would never prescribe them now. Here's the thing. If you have a dog who needs weight loss, feed them a species appropriate diet. Feed them raw food. Get the carbs out of the diet. Get the starches out of the diet. It's amazing. Cats. Oh my gosh. Get the carbs out of the cat diets. Cats are carnivores, obligate carnivores. They need to eat meat. Do not make your cats into vegetarians and vegans. They like to die when you do that. It's really not good for them. They are not carnivores. They are carnivores. They need meat. Our dogs do so much better when they have a meat-based diet than when they are fed a whole bunch of starchy carbs. You know what that causes in the body when you feed a bunch of starchy carbs? And oh, by the way, then you have obese animals. Obesity has inflammation associated with it. That's why our country is medically in so much trouble because the majority of Americans are overweight because we eat the wrong diet and we eat a lot of processed food and those processed foods are so filled with chemicals and synthetics and we're doing the same thing to our pets and when we feed these prescription diets the chemical list in there is so long I don't have um, an ingredient list in front of me I probably should have pulled one up just so I could read it to you but just google any prescription diet and you'll see there's a lot of grains in there. There's a lot of meals, meat meals that are rendered. There's a huge list of synthetic vitamins and minerals. Why do you think Hills is being sued by so many people for excess vitamin D in their prescription diets, actually in all their diets? They knew about it, they didn't do the recall. It's all that synthetic vitamin mineral mix that was formulated incorrectly with hundreds of times more vitamin D than what our animals need, and it put them into kidney failure and animals died. I see so many posts with people saying, my dog got diagnosed with crystals in his urine and now, or cat, he's got crystals in his urine. My vet wants me to feed this prescription diet for crystals in the urine. First of all, crystals are overtreated. Second of all, a couple of crystals is no big deal. A lot of crystals, that's a big deal. Do you need a prescription diet to fix that? Nope. What do you need? You need moisture. You need a species appropriate diet. You need synthetics out of there. All of you with animals with IBD and allergies, stop feeding them synthetics. When you get the synthetic chemicals out of their food, their body is a lot happier. All of those synthetics are foreign invaders. The immune system wants to attack. We've got to stop putting garbage into our animals. Garbage in equals garbage out, guys. Why do you think we are seeing so many chronic medical issues? Chronic inflammation, chronic endocrine disease. Oh yeah, there's that whole glyphosate thing. All those GMO grains that are going into the pet food. Yes, we see a ton of Cushing's. We see a, son, a ton of, uh, they only got fined 12.5 million for thousands of deaths. Well, I, it's because, because pets are not considered family members in the legal system. Pets are considered a piece of property and their value is what you paid for them. Oh, okay, my dog's worth $200. Well, actually, ours are worth 600 but Actually, that means Gabby's worth nothing and Stewie's worth nothing. Perfect. Perfect. So it's... Guys, stop falling for it. Stop falling for it. There are other ways around feeding your pets healthy, real food. When we see humans who eat healthy, real diets and get enough exercise, they're healthier. When we see pets who are fed whole food, real food diets, they're healthier. Doesn't mean you have to make it yourself. There are good pet food companies out there. We put out a list. You can get our list. Actually, sweater, somebody will probably post it on here. <laughs> um, we got to get away from the way that it, it Convenience. It's all about convenience. It's the same thing I hear with the flea and tick products. It's so convenient to just give that pill. No, I don't want to have to do something every day. Ew, too much work. Oh, 
It's so much easier to just dump dry kibble in the bowl and walk away. But it's not good for their health. Do you love them? Are they family members? Let's treat them like family members. Let's give them real food. I'm hoping our dogs start liking eggs more because our chickens are producing a lot of eggs now. Although they're little tiny baby <laughs> eggs with the baby chickens. Uh, it's drjudymorgan.com, the one that you posted, judymorgan.com. Uh, it says it's for sale. <laughs> Change that, Nicole. It's drjudymorgan.com. <laughs> Thanks for posting, though. Uh, that's pretty funny. Judymorgan.com is for sale. There, I think there's a Judy Morgan judge or lawyer or something that's pretty popular. <laughs> That's a big website, too. Okay, three years of no sugar and no flour for Teresa. Feel great and keeping 50 pounds off. Yeah, Teresa's really good about that. Um, anybody wants to know how to do that, she's got a great program that she follows. I'm, I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not good enough about doing it. <laughs> Although it does make me feel better when I do it that way. All right, biologically appropriate foods for our animals and ourselves. We do okay with some grains, but uh, you gotta you gotta be careful with them. I don't eat very many grains and start. I don't do well with starches and sugars. I'm kind of like Teresa. Okay, I'm done ranting. <laughs> Your husband and you get leftovers from the dog food. I love it. I love it. Um, Supporters, uh, I'll make a post um, for you guys to give me ideas of what you want. Uh, and I'm thinking that we are actually going to put the um, the last two webinars that I did for you guys on lab work. I'm going to put those into our Kajabi store for other people who would like to get access to them. So, okie dokie. Yeah, pumpkin and butternut squash are good. Uh your vet told you recently your dog has to be on a prescription diet the rest of his life after his bladder stone surgery. He does not. <laughs> I told them I'm following a holistic vet vet's advice. <laughs> yeah, they hate me. They hate me. They're losing money. Sorry. Yeah, once you drop carbs, your body doesn't crave it. That's true. That's true. All right. Everybody have a great weekend. Um, I'll post something for uh, supporters. Uh, let me see if I can find that, that music that I... <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> It's itching season. Uh. Yes, please comment on the Soresto site. Uh, that went out in our Friday Five today also, Lori. So hopefully we'll get, uh, get even more comments on there. Uh, thanks for posting it, Lori. Uh, chicken eggs are not necessarily an allergen for dogs with chicken meat allergies. So it's been a week of rants, sort of like Shark Week. <laughs> Rant week! <laughs> Bye, guys.